This is my collection of neon nightlights. These have come from various sources. I couldn't tell you in particular where necessarily any of them came from. This one might have been from Home Depot, but the rest, I'm not sure. Oh, this one was from a dollar store, Dollar Tree, I believe. The rest, I don't know. This one is ancient. You can see it's yellowed. This one, the whiff had, it's a bunny. And this isn't necessarily really a nightlight as much as it's a tap where you plug it in and get three outlets. But it does have a neon bulb with a sensor on it. So let's go ahead and test all of these out. We'll start with the bunny. Doesn't appear it's really lighting up, but it is. I don't know how this necessarily classifies as much of a nightlight. <laughs> it's like really dim and doesn't light up the whole bunny. And I think the reason for that is this neon bulb has a lot of hours on it. Uh, we might have had this in our apartment years ago. I really don't remember. But uh, this one isn't very bright. Here's the other one that was like really yellowed. This one works really nice. Nice and bright. Um... You know, the camera makes it appear to put out a lot more light than it does. It, it's not that bright. I mean, it's bright. It's there. And you can certainly see it. It's great as an indicator light, but really not much more. And quite honestly, that's really about what you're going to get out of all of these. Uh, this one was probably in service for many, many years at my parents' house, and I stole it or something. They might still have a couple over there, I don't remember. But this was probably in service for a number of years. It's really old, it's gotta be from, probably from the 90s sometime. But it still works really well. This one does too, surprisingly. This was the sort of jeweled looking thing like that. That you can certainly see very well from a distance. Again, the light output is nothing it's really more to serve as an indicator. If it had a second bulb up here, it would light up fucking bro awesome, but it's not bad for what it is. It looks better on camera. The camera sen ten tends to, to wash it out for whatever reason. It looks a lot cooler in person. This one is from the dollar store. You can see the bulb is not centered just because... <laughs> It's just a little neon capsule. I don't think the camera will focus it. Not really, but you can actually see the two electrodes in there and the neon glowing around them. This was, it had a thing sort of like the bunny there. Sort of like the bunny, it had like a front on it. You can see that the back of the bunny there, it looks like it comes out, but for whatever reason it doesn't, or at least not easily. It had a front on it that was stupid, so I took it off, and this is what you get. And, uh, again, it's a good indicator, but not much more than that. And obviously from the side, it's... yeah. But that's kind of what you get. At least you can actually see the wires in there and the bulb, so that is kind of cool. And last but not least is the tap. Um, not that great. It's apparently got a little bit of a dodgy connection for whatever reason. I'm using a ground cheater, if you can see that. That over there is a photocell, and I need some light for that to work. So I think what I can do is just turn that on and move this up, and we'll see. Well, that doesn't really help, but if I go up to it, you can see it on. So it works, and I plugged two of the other ones in there. I can't fit three in there because they're just too wide. And uh, that works. Again, for whatever reason, it's just got a dodgy connection, which is really odd, depending on the way I flex it. But there's those, so that's neon. She's always buzzing just like neon, neon. And if I turn the room lights on, you can see that clearly goes out. So the photocell in it still works. This is quite aged. 
there's actually enough light that leaks in with the room lights on that it will not come on. This is a lot dimmer than it used to be. It was never great, great, but uh, it used to be a lot better than that. Uh, again, the neon bulb is aged quite a bit. Now, none of these really have much writing except for this one, which has been around so long that there's so much dirt in the printing that you can actually read it. I did want to mention this. You can actually rotate, which I was having better luck with using my other hand for whatever reason. But, ah, there we go. So you can see you could turn it sideways and then it'll fit any outlet configuration that you need. So there was that. As far as this one goes, it says Long Best Enterprise Company Limited. Miscellaneous lamp holder. Made in Taiwan. One third watt. One third watt, folks. That's right. But the LED uses one watt. This will save the planet. That uses one third the amount of power that this does. But this is going to save the planet. This one also plays a tune when you pluck the prongs. The rest don't. See, nothing, nothing. Well, this one a little bit. Just sort of vibrates and whatever. I should kind of open this because it seems a little loose. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably I shouldn't open it in that case. Oh, what the hell, let's do it, right? Well, that actually explains a lot. One prong is held to the front of it, the other is held to the back, and these are outlet prongs that you see there. There's the bulb, which is considerably blackened. So that's why its light output isn't as good. There might be a resistor there, but that's why that's loose. It's just because it's sort of not held in by much. So hopefully I can fit this back together now. Well, I finally got it back together. Uh, <laughs> wasn't necessarily that easy until you learn the trick, which is to actually put everything together first. And then, of course, I'm going to put it back together, and this screw wouldn't go in. And that's why it looks different. The reason is, I guess the plastic is aged, and the standoff broke. They're like, I don't know, this long or so? So now that one is only that long, but I found a slightly longer screw, and that holds well now. But it is back together, and I guess there's less light here, so if I shade it, you can see the light will turn on. So it's working once again, as do all of the outlets. I've tested the middle one as well. So that's my collection of neon night lights that use less electricity than LED. Not that useful because they're just indicators much like LEDs are. Um, but otherwise, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.